Breaking tonight, surprising new twist in the investigation of the shocking carjacking in Winter Springs. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ginger Gadsden. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. Authorities now confirm Catherine Aguas Vivas was shot to death shortly after a gunman forced his way into her car. About an hour after the carjacking, a woman's body was found in Osceola County inside her car, which had been set on fire. A bystander recorded this video of Aguas Vivas being carjacked last Thursday. It happened at the intersection of Tuscawilla Road and East Lake Drive in Seminole County. Investigators believe the victim was specifically targeted, and this is not a random crime. Detectives are still trying to identify that carjacker, and authorities have just arrested someone they say is tied to the case. News 6 investigator Mike DeForest joins us live from the Seminole County Sheriff's Office with the breaking details. Mike, authorities arrested an Orange County deputy? Matt, this case has taken just a bizarre twist. It's a little complicated, so try to follow along here. But investigators say an Orange County Sheriff's deputy interfered in Seminole County's carjacking investigation. That Orange County deputy, Francisco Chacon, is being held in jail on several charges related to disclosing confidential information about a criminal investigation and making illegal audio recordings. Now, last week, shortly after the woman was carjacked, Seminole County detectives contacted the victim's husband. Well, according to authorities, the victim's husband just happened to be friends with that Orange County deputy. Later, the Orange County deputy allegedly placed a phone call to the Seminole County detective who was overseeing the criminal investigation. The Orange County deputy allegedly claimed to be a fellow detective but used a fake last name and asked the Seminole detective for details about the carjacking. Now, the Orange County deputy allegedly made an illegal audio recording of that phone call with the Seminole County detective, which he then reportedly shared with the husband of the carjacking victim. As soon as our detectives received this call from the Orange County uh, detective, as he called himself, uh, they were immediately on alert and very suspicious of the communication and really gave him nothing, absolutely nothing. But, uh, but as, as soon as that happened and they hook up the phone, trust me, that was a topic of conversation in the room. What was that about? This, this stands out and is incredibly suspicious. When they later contacted the Orange County Sheriff's Office, they're like, we don't have a deputy with that last name nor a detective, but we have a phone number that is connected with somebody. Actually, interestingly enough, he gave the same first name, uh, but just gave a different last name. And now, here's another bizarre twist to this case. Investigators say the unidentified carjacker and an accomplice were traveling in a green 2002 Acura. Well, it turns out that's a very rare car. Detectives discovered there happened to be just one car like it registered in the entire state of Florida. Well, investigators say they now have located that car, but not the people who were driving it. Authorities believe that same green Acura may be tied to a second murder that happened in Orange County just last week. So now there are two active murder investigations that appear to be tied by this car. And now we have an Orange County deputy sitting in jail accused of interfering in one of those investigations. Reporting live in Seminole County, Mike DeForest, News 6. Back to you. It is really complicated. And we're going to break down, explain a little more on that other twist in this investigation, that green car that Mike DeForest was talking about. It is now linked to a murder investigation in Orange County. A man was shot at his home late Wednesday night. This happened intact. The Seminole County Sheriff says the unusual caliber of bullet used in the carjacking was also used to spray the Taft house with dozens of bullets. The man who lives there was killed. He was a tow truck driver who happened to tow that same green car just three weeks earlier. Of course, we're continuing to gather new details on this breaking story. Look for updates on ClickOrlando.com.